Hello everyone, Stucky here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. And yes, once again, we are back in the world of My Little Pony. I made a promise that if we reached that like goal of 6,000 likes on the previous video, that I would do one as soon as we got back. But I digress. I went ahead and put out a poll on my community page in order to determine what nation we were going to play. And by a very healthy margin, the one that won was the River Republic. Something that if we go and look at it is honestly like, um, I can't exactly remember what this whole thing is kind of based off of, but it is a balkanized republic, if you will, a federation. The idea is that all these different states are bound in a kind of defensive alliance as part of a federation, even when they're made of many different peoples. And by that, I mean different species. You got the unicorns, you got the ponies, you got the dog people, you got all kinds of different groups, and they don't necessarily really like each other, but they're united in a defensive pact against people like the super genocidal Griffins. Yeah, Griffins who wish to create living space, if you will. I think there's a German word for that. But now nah, we are playing as the River Republic, and so I think for the first time ever, we are going to go for a nice, peaceful game. Harmony, if you will. Friend in love with our neighbors, who hopefully won't be trying to murder us. See, so the River Republic is a free trade-like nation, and the goal of the leaders of it is to make it like the eastern counterpart of Equestria. But I guess just like in our history, any eastern nation or republic has to unfortunately deal with the socialists, so we're going to need to get that fixed. So despite the fact that everything in here is green, none of these nations are actually a puppet of me or any Thing. They're just like this because we're all in the same federation, the River Coalition. The goal of which, in the end, if we go to our focus tree here, is along the right side, we have the goal of federation. Every single nation inside of the River Federation has access to this focus tree, which, if we get down to the end, will unite all the nations that agree into one single nation, which is really powerful, but mind you, that would take up a lot of time to be able to actually do. And so you then may wonder, well, if everyone has access to this focus tree, how the hell do they manage? manage to know who is going to take it over in the end. Well, interestingly enough, in the decisions over here, we have a thing that is dreams of a federation. So whoever completes the most focuses within the tree is going to be the one that at the end takes over everything as the dominant nation because they were the one who was leading the formation of the nation in the first place. It's a really cool system. I really love this whole race idea that you either go for the federation or if you focus more on your internal development, you try to break away from the nation before it can unite into one being first. First. It's really cool, actually. If I was going to equate this to anything, it's like if the EU was balkanized. Hey, I'm interrupting things to tell you right now to go ahead and like the video. If this video can get 7,000 likes in the first three days, we will do another My Little Pony run. Also, if you want to play Hearts of Iron or other games with me, then please do check out the link below to my Discord. We have over 7,000 members that just love to play and have some fun. So please join in on the games, have some fun, and enjoy the video. Let's see. First things first, we could focus on the Federation, but rather than doing any of that, I think that we are going to get our internal situation fixed a little bit first. Divided government, we need to go ahead and get that fixed. Civilian factory-wise, we don't really have much. Of course, we are going to need an industry, so let's go ahead and get that going. And research, oh god, we are actually way behind. Uh, I guess that we're a little bit backwards here in the east. We're gonna need to fix that. We'll need to modernize our guns and then simultaneously get our research and production going. And now, my friends, let's go ahead and begin. Ah, hey, from the beginning, having to deal with the socialist and wanting to kill any measure of progress whatsoever. That seems realistic. Actually, I saw from the research we a small science base. How backwards are we? Mild poverty, limited literacy, outdated industrial sector. All right, not the worst, but definitely not good. We're gonna need to get that fixed. Ah, we all have a meeting here together at the Cult Stream Summit. Not Cold Stream, Cult Stream. Hey, I see what you did there. Support the farmers, screw the socialists. That's the plan. Wait, what is this? The Talzar Commune. The third issue that has come before the cabinet is an odd one. A group of urbanite upper middle class ponies have left their dwellings in Reichrad and taken up a primitive agrarian mode of existence in the Talzar Hills, located in the state of Coltonia. They've begun to forget what they are, in fact, part of our country, and ignore the central government's orders. They refuse to pay their taxes, refuse to respect police officers, and in general, act as if they were a completely independent country. Things have come to a head as tax collector was attacked by the Talzarites when she tried to force them to comply with the law. It's a bunch of freaking hippies! Send to the marshal, screw these hippies, get rid of them, get, get rid of them. Oh god, what is this? The freaking commies! The commies! How dare you! How dare you walk out on my democratic process and force me to have more of a democratic process? Freaking socialists. Divided election comes to a close, election comes to a close, and perfect, we remove unstable government, the socialists have expended their political capital from the snap election, and we take complete control. Excellent. And so since that does not work, it is time to strengthen the OHS. 
Go ahead and get our operatives underway so we can get some spies. Oh, the emperor's dead. How natural. I mean, tragic. Definitely tragic. Wait, what the hell? New undersecretary of the treasury with a republic stable and a financial sector once again about to function. So my grandmother, I think, wants me to appoint a cousin who sucks or to not shake the boat. No, 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 we're not shaking the boat. Grandma, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, grandma. All right, captain of industry, go ahead and get that going. Next up on here, we need to get some civilian factories. Yes. Ooh, this is a really powerful thing. Political power gain, additional operative and reduced is the time to upgrade agencies? Oh, that's nice. All right, now the reason why we're focusing on this is because we need compulsory education. We want to get this first. And is there another thing I can do? Yes, anything we can do to boost our science base from the beginning. If we can get that fixed, that means we can research and we'll be fine. All right, there's the labor unions that gives us a modern society. And now it's time to get our industry fixed here. As soon as we get these little things fixed, then we can start focusing on the Federation. And I mean, who knows what else is going to happen around the rest of the world, to be honest. Diamond Mountain Crackdown. Oh no, they're cracking down on dissenting slaves. Uh-oh. Listen, I know they're communist slaves, but be a little nicer to them, perhaps. Kill them with kindness, if you will. Because, yeah, Diamond Mountain is um very oppressive. It's literally dog eat dog. You see what they did there? You see what they did there? And finally, Dawn of the Crystal Age. This is the last step that we need here to actually modernize your society. And then it's pure Federation time. I just hope I can make it before some major event happens that screws me over. Oh, look, the Griffonian Empire is going and having its fun here. And Hellquill is declaring war on Longsword. Oh, that's going to unite them over on this side. Interesting. I hope they don't turn against us. Time for the dreams of a Federation. Now it is time that we start investing in the different things around us. First things first, let's send a delegation to the North. If we can go ahead and expand upon membership, then that'll be all the better for us in the future if we go ahead and unite things. Wait, National Focus bypassed invest in Deponia. Oh, did is someone starting to do it? Huh? So see, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone has access to this focus tree. So by someone doing invest in Deponia, that means that we don't have to waste time researching it. That's fine. Great. Awesome. But now as a result, what ends up happening is someone else earned a point. Who did it? Lake City. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let them do that. I'm expanding. What's this? United Riverlands Philosophy philosophical committee. Hey, everyone is seeking integration. That's nice. That's a really nice thing. Good on you. Good on you, buddies. All right. Now notice we did assist Farbrook and we also did assist the other one, Fir Tree. So what that means is that if you look at our score, we now have two points, which puts us in the lead. We complete all of these. And not only is it going to give us a bunch of points for doing so, but simultaneously we can expand the union so that eventually we take them all. All right. There's assist the water towns. Now send an emissary to the changelings. Well, I guess we have to. Oh, they don't want friendship. Well, you know what I bring friendship by force sometimes. Maybe not yet, but eventually. Now, the whole thing is just a matter of racing to federate. So let's see what happens. Now we just need the Fir Tree Village to join. There's the River Coal and Steel Community. That is another point for us. Now we can continue down here. And I guess time to invest in Pon... Ponide... Ponide... Ponideen? I do not know what this is based off of, but I, it's pony something. All right, there's all these developments. Now it's time for the River Development Company. We're just going to continue down along this path in what is perhaps the most peaceful game that I've ever played. This is pleasant. This is nice. There's no stress. It's just love. Love and friendship and magic. I really hope I'm not going to regret those words. Whoa, what is this? A shocking proposal? River's Roll has today received an astonishing proposal. So astonishing, in fact, that it was initially assumed to be a prank. However, we've been told that the Griffonian host really wants to join the River Coalition. Their leader, Borad Grifnitsky claims to be devoted to harmony and that his people have turned over a new leaf. Wait, what? Well, if the entire thing is fake, then we can always just kick him out. So you know what? Screw it. Welcome in, buddies. My God, we are even bigger. What the hell? Benevolent absolutism. Straight up looks like Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler was nice. But I don't trust that look on your face. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I ever anticipated. And if we can actually unite this, we will be massive. You know, this is nice. This is really nice. While the rest of the world is burning to the ground in horrible and terrifying ways, we're playing sports because that's how we play Hearts of Iron. Wait a minute, so what is this? Wittenland is requesting for me to give my land back because I happened to take it way back in a war? What the? Listen, listen, calm, calm down, calm down. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. You're all gonna be mine anyway, so technically speaking, I could give it back, but no. Nope, proud to be part of the River Republic. Oh, we're giving such a nice little speech here. United we stand, divided we fall were her final words. Yeah, because you will be united or you will fall by my hand. Next up on here, found the river parliament. Yes. This entire time, I haven't done anything. The entire world is burning to the ground as different powers are consolidating. And here I am just building a nice peaceful republic. This is the simplest, most kind game that I've played yet. Friendship really is magic, which is also giving us plenty of time to build up an arms industry. I know I just did a game in Millennium Dawn, but this is actually feeling scarily similar to it, just significantly nicer 
faster to actually go through a play with choosing focuses because like I'm working on founding a bank, fiscal policy, uniting the lands. That seems familiar. Whoa, 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 Wittenland, Wittenland, you went and declared war? Why would you go and declare war? Why, why, why would you go and declare war? Are we going to get called in? Can I offer to join war? Can I do that? Nope, we cannot. It's up to Wittenland entirely. Please, for the love of God, do not fail. I can't even send them volunteers. Just good luck, buddies. You fuckers are genuinely going to lose this war. You are throwing yourselves against the enemy and you're going to bleed out all your manpower. What the hell are you doing? Why would you do this? River Convention on Racial Tolerance. Hey, Boniden, once again, doing something nice. You know what? Yeah, yeah. All races are equal. Equal meat bags. Man, I feel like I'm doing a communist run at this point. Oh, shoot. Wait, was someone already doing the free travel area? Oh, I guess they did. Okay, well, if that's the case, we'll go ahead and cancel this focus. That'll give us 10 additional days. We will accept this, let it bypass. And now that means we can immediately get a head start on the next one. The River Union. Yeah, this is basically the uniting of like the EU with a free trade area, free travel, single currency. We'll probably be able to call ourselves the River Union now. But this was such an easier thing to do in comparison to Millennium Dawn. If you haven't seen that video, literally go back and watch it. It was the biggest pain in the ass. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Graphonian Empire is going hard. They really are striking back. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the big baddie that we're going to have to fight. Let's see. We've already maxed out everything here inside of our nation. We can't build anymore, so we might as well just start building infrastructure in our surrounding territories because, well, I mean, we're going to be absorbing them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we are. The River Union. My God, would you, Whitland, please stop throwing your men's lives away. I'm trying to absorb you ponies. Our next step on here, go ahead and unite the governments. It is time to reconsider the sovereignty of the national governments. <laughs> yeah, we need to reconsider whether or not that's actually something we want. And uh, yeah, I'd say we are decisively in the lead here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wing Barty annexed what? What? Did did Eris? United Kingdom of Eris? Oh, they lost. They lost the war, right? No, they're still at war. They just lost all their land holdings here. That is rather interesting. Okay, wow. I haven't seen that actually successfully happen in the game yet. But Wing Barty is spreading strongly across the south. Wait, a call to arms request from the Kingdom of Wittland? Yes, 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 yes. Now we can actually do something. Of course, I will accept the call to arms. Absolutely, I will. And we're going to call everyone too. There we go. Move in. We can just start to break on through. All right, there we go. There we go. There's a bunch of them Trap. There's a bunch of them trapped. Let's go. Fall of Griffinstone, Griffonian Empire. Oh, whoa, wait. What is happening over here? Skyfall Republic? It's all collapsing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, that is, that is definitely going to be the big baddie of the game. The Aquilian Republic is about to get crushed by them, too. Okay, okay. We're going to need to hurry. All right, there's the United River Government. Next up on here, the River Army. Go ahead and get that done. All right, that wipes these guys out. There we go. Wipe out even more of them. Wipe out even more of them. Fantastic. All right, now we're going to need to restock, refuel, get ready, and definitely go up to extensive conscription. We're going to need a lot more pony power here. And there we go. There's the capital. There's the capital. Just move on in. There's the River Army. Okay, last step on here, River Federation. We are not at peace, so we cannot do that. Is there anything else we can do? Focus on the military. Okay, yeah, we're just going to focus on fixing this stuff and getting ready. All right, let's screw it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just drive them out. Just drive them out. Keep on going. And there goes the Barrett Majocracy. Okay, we should have the most points, I think. I will go ahead and give all of this to Wittenland, I think. There we go. Perfect. And in doing so, that means once we absorb them, we should get everything. Still, that was some good, valuable experience. All right, there's focus on the military done, which means now it is time for the River Federation. 140 days from now, we have succeeded. Everything should be united. Diamond Mountain declares war on Hellquill. On Hellquill? Here? Why would you declare war on Hellquill? Diamond Mountain, you idiots. You you idiots! You fucking idiots! Why? Why would you do this, you stupid dogs? You had to do it. You had to go and ruin my plan. You had to go and ruin my plan. 35 more days and then I would have been able to do this. Dumbasses. I can't join the war, you idiots. If you can just hold out inside of Diamond Mountain, if you can hold out there, maybe we can get a white piece out of this as soon as it unites. 10 more days. What the fuck, man? No, you idiots. Literally, you had one day left. One day. Everyone is joining. Everyone, jo the dogs would have joined too if it wasn't for that shit. Oh my god damn it. Well, this is not nearly as pretty as I wanted it to be, so uh time to start pacifying things. Also, Helco, we're definitely justifying on you, you little bitches. And now look at this. Now they're united, we have all these different commanders, all these different species. Pony, unicorn, griffin, Sif Oh my god, that looks badass, actually. What the hell? We get all of the different generals of all the different nations combined into one. It looks so cool, actually. Well, we now have a shit ton of military factories. We have a whole bunch of civilian factories. We have really gotten a big economy now. I would say from this that we are doing just fine, baby. All right, there's Pacify the South. Done. Found Ribotom. Oh, we're getting a research slot. Yes, let's do it. Do I get war goals on any of these? No? Cost of estate? 
No, don't have any of these. Is it because I already own the Griffonian host or something? Huh, Equestria claims the Badlands. Well, I guess it's time we just go ahead and finish the things off then. Goodbye, evil griffins. Your days of genocide are no more because I will be genociding you. All right, just hold the line in the north, hold the line in the north. Even if they try to push us, they're not gonna be able to do anything because we are attacking from all sides in the south. And boom, Hellquill is now finally knocked out. The River Federation is looking significantly more beautiful. Oh, wait, that's why I can't pacify the south because the south is already pacified. Oh, look at you. Look at you cute little griffins, all harmonic and shit. Oh, nice, how nice. All of you are looking so good, except for the bandits. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you in here at all. All right, Blackrock, Bandit, Queendom. You, listen, you just creep me the fuck out. What, what is even with that? How the hell would you tattoo this on your feathers of all goddamn things? Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Just die. Like, there's no way for them to resist us at this point. I don't even have any tanks equipped. This is just overwhelming sheer bullshit infantry. Oh God, we actually overwhelmed their front line. They have no men. We're just steamrolling through the land. And there goes the Queendom. All right, goodbye to you and annex all of you and you're mine. Listen, everyone will be united and harmonious and happy if by force, if necessary. Carthy never, wait, when the hell did this become the Carthian empire? What, what the hell is this? All right, let's see, that's the offensive chief of army. Is there anything else we wanna do? Do we even need any of this stuff? We're already so developed on all this that isn't even necessary. <laughs> My question is, what is emergency measures? Like if I wanted to do any of these to take out the empire and do all of this, what would I do? What, 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 what would I do? Do I do I even continue with it? Do I just build up? I do I might just build up for a while. If not, I'm just gonna justify and end, you, every, end everyone else. And honestly, I've never gone this far in a game to be able to test this, but the tanks, once you get to the later technologies, there's some fascinating stuff. This is actually incredibly cool. So I just built an advanced medium tank in here. You might think that, oh, you're gonna go for medium weapons. No, light weapons, small armaments add so many more variations, including something that is better than the improved automatic cannon, literal spell fire cannon. We're firing magic tank shells, bitch. I mean, if you're gonna be building something to slap onto infantry, this is incredibly beefy. And now we have the actual industry to sustain it all. Whoa, darker Santa Nectarian order. Oh, hey, the Dread League is finally doing something over here. This should be interesting. Well, if they wipe them out, that means I just have another land of the north that I can wipe out. Again, you creep me the fuck out, lady. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, nope. Looks like the Dread League is probably going to lose here. Okay. Well, looks like I'm not going to be able to do that then. Well, I guess the actual crisis is just not going to happen at this point. So I, I don't know what to do. Bastion of the East. I guess we just start building it up here and start justifying. I waited two years thinking something would happen, but it's not. So uh, I'm getting bored. Let's go ahead and just take care of these things. Bicolini, I've always wanted to take you out, to be honest. Oh, whoa. They actually have significantly bigger of an army over here than I thought. How many troops do they actually have? Oh, shit. That is a lot of divisions. Okay. Uh, way, 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 way more than I anticipated. <laughs> this is actually going to be a fight. Okay, justification is complete, but uh, I actually don't know how good this is going to go for me. This, this, this actually could have been a dumb thing that I did. All right, before I go actually go and declare war, because that could be a very stupid thing to do, uh, we are going to go ahead and create a little bit of a fallback line back here, just in case I have to like quickly bring in some troops. Well, let's see what happens then. Oh, boy. Oh boy, they are really throwing themselves here against me. Wow, that is a lot. That is definitely a lot. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Naval invasion? Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going to do that, my dear sir. Uh-uh. All right, we'll just let them continuously throw themselves against us more. Just keep on letting them go. The more of them that they bleed out, the better. Damn, and our planes are absolutely ripping them apart. This is brutal. What are their losses at so far? 37,000 for us. How the fuck have they bled through 600,000 already? It's been a month. It's actually been one month. We started in October. What? Wow, imagine losing a million men in less than like two months. What are we, they, the Soviet Union? Oh. Oh shoot, they actually are starting to make a little bit of advance here. Okay, okay, okay. They've taken a little bit of territory, but it's fine. It's fine. As long as we continue to bleed them out, they will not be able to sustain themselves. Holy shit, they must have burned through all of their equipment already. H how? 49,000 versus 1.5. It hasn't been two months. We started October, what, 20th or something? 1.5 million casualties. How much equipment have they burned through throwing it at our line? Not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of horrified by this. This is this is genuinely horrifying to look at. Oh my God, they're just continuously throwing themselves at me. This is insane. This is actually insane. I can't even do anything. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, is that an entire Northern army trapped? Is that an entire Northern army trapped? Dear God, that's like 20 divisions right there wiped. Yeah, yeah, drop in the bucket in comparison to this. Two and a half million losses. It's been like two and a half months. That is insane. Oh, that's another big pocket. That's another big pocket. Yeah, there's another 20 divisions. Uh, Yeah, three million losses in three months. 
Yup, yup, a million men per month. That is not a rate that I would like to keep up. I mean, I would like to keep it up, but I don't think you all do. There's more, there's more. Trap him, trap him, trap him, trap him. Ah, uh, just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh, uh, you know, I completely forgot this entire time. I started the game with three spies. I should have been putting collaboration governments on this shit the entire time, and I completely forgot. Oh, 80% superiority. Should we just go for it? It'll be bloody. It'll be bloody. It's going to cost us a lot of manpower if we do it. You know what? Fine, let's go for it. I'm a man of the people after all. What are we in terms of losses? There we go. Even more surrounded and destroy. Surround and destroy. Just keep on going. Yep, this shouldn't last too much longer at this point. Uh, we may have lost 400,000 men, but versus the 6 million here, I, I think I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And there we go. The Carthian Empire is defeated. That actually took way longer than I anticipated because they were, like, that was a fight. That was straight up a fight, but uh, it was also more of a brutal slog of men just destroying themselves. Ponies. Ponies, no. Griffins. Griffins just eradicating themselves. Good for them. But listen, I've said this before. All are welcome within the Federation. All are welcome within the Federation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively, tootily, lootly. Guess now the only thing we can do is train up and prepare for the final fun bit. Oh no, my agent was captured. Ah, oh, how tragic, how tragic. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna slog through you, Griffonian Empire. I think that's probably the best bet. No spying, no bullshit, no nothing, just fun. So hey, Griffonia, I know we've had our differences in the past. Listen, buddy, buddy, don't, don't look at me like that. Listen, you look at me with a sense of judgment and I don't think that's really fair. I think we should just forgive and forget. And by that, I mean, I want everyone to forget that you ever existed. Goodbye. Actually, before I even do this, what kind of army do you even have? Oh, oh, <laughs> even bigger than the last. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. On the day of our Lord, February 17th, which is the exact day that I'm actually recording this, mind you, be gone, foul demon griffin. Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of war immediately from the beginning. Okay, well, ho hold the line, buddies. Hold the line. Can, can we actually hold the line? Hey, there we go. Switching to green. Oh, some of these parts were actually losing. Some of these parts were actually losing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Okay, we're being driven back slightly. Okay, okay, some parts are actually driving us back slightly. All right, we need to hold, hold the line, hold the line. How many losses are we at so far? 110,000 for us already? Oh, wow. This might be a little bit more than I anticipated. Okay, uh, yeah. What's the air war like? We're winning some, losing others, but we are taking out way more of them than they are of us. All right. I'm just now seeing this while designing a tank. It's not the Christie suspension. It's the claw beak suspension. Ah. All right, all right, I'm at war, but I probably can't push any of this right now, especially not in the north here. This is all mountains. Could I potentially do down here, though? I might be able to do this. Okay, there we go. Little pushes, wipe out little griffin units. That's fine, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, God, throwing themselves at me again. Okay, okay. Wow, we have, we have a lot more up here than I anticipated. All right, there's more units trapped. We can just slowly surround and destroy. They're trying to throw their men at me, but if I can move smarter, then I can wipe out more of their units in the south. It forces them to split their units. Units. Can I do the Phoenix Forum? No, we don't have emergency measures. How do I get emergency measures? What is that? You know what? We'll just focus on construction engineering. Screw it. We're just going to focus on repair. I'm not going to do any more focuses. We just got to bide our time and do this properly. New Kingdom of the North. Want the Holy Order once named the Acturian Order now fancies himself as a new kingdom with the Vanquishing the Dread League. Oh, hey. Okay. Well, could use your help down here. All right. All right. All right. They're throwing themselves at me again, but, but they've had to weaken their not line. They don't have as many units. So that means it's green all around. We're not losing territory and they're just bleeding themselves out on manpower. Excellent. Oh, oh shit. No, wait, we did actually get encircled. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I could have actually lost some units there. That would have been really bad. Oh no, I did actually lose a division down here. Shit, when did that happen? All right, all right. Just keep on trying to trap more of them down. If we can trap more of these ponies. Not ponies, griffins. I keep on confusing them. Then this is most of their valuable tank divisions. Dead, perfect. With the tanks wiped out, they won't be able to push us to nearly the same degree that they were. There we go. More wiped, more wiped. Oh shit, they're actually pushing me again. There we go. Even more tanks trapped. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just keep on pushing. Just keep on pushing. Oh shit, they're going for a counterattack. They're going for a counterattack. No, 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 no. There's a bunch of my units. No, damn it. Okay, I got a bunch of them in circle, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We may have overextended ourselves a little bit, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. All right, there we go. There's more. There's more. All right, we are losing divisions. They're losing divisions. This is the big slaughter. This is actually a little bit of a challenge. Not gonna lie. Holy shit, they have strong tanks if they're not able to let me break them. What? Okay, I don't know when this happened. That is actually dangerous. That is dangerous. That is bad. Fuck. No, I actually can't break through their tanks. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. <laughs> 
I might have made a little bit of a mistake here. Everything was going so easy for me, and now I'm actually running into trouble. Shit, they are starting to push further and further into the heartlands up here. Uh, this is not what I wanted up here at all. Uh, this is actually quite dangerous now. There we go. Some modern tanks with a really stylish unicorn in the lead. Please, for the love of God, let this be the thing that saves me, because this is actually becoming quite hard. Oh, did I cut them off? I think I cut them off. Yes, yes. We caught the majority of their big tank divisions. All right, we'll just let them attrition. We'll just let them attrition for a while. There's no way I can actually do anything against them for a bit. Not gonna lie, I'm having so much fun with this right now. This was like two massive challenging fights back to back. It genuinely is so good. Oh, five million casualties on the other side. Yes, yes, we've lost a lot ourselves too. I know, I know, I know, I know. But there's really not much that we can do here, to be honest. We're a multi-people nation and every single person is willing to sacrifice themselves for our country. It makes sense. All right, here we go. I got some actual fucking tanks now. Let's see what these things can actually do. Let's see, this is an opposing tank. Oh my God, it just blitzes right through. Yes. You know, baby, it's time, it's time. Let's go, let's go. There is nothing that can stop us now. Boom, all across the line, some green, some red, but a whole lot of death. All right, come on, we're pushing in. We're pushing in, let's go, let's go. Oh, a million losses ourselves. Okay, all right, maybe, maybe I should have continued to play a little bit smarter, you know. Go, my brothers, go, eat into the Grafonian Empire. There goes the Irite Arcanate. All right, they have fallen. We're just moving further and further up into the Empire. Should only be a matter of time now. Our manpower is falling so quickly, though. <laughs> All adults serve? Perhaps we might need to raise conscription again. <laughs> for the Republic, bitches. For the Republic. And there it goes. Phonian Empire collapses. Everything for the Republic. Everything is fixed. The land once again whole, green, and beautiful, all under the sway of the Grand River Federation. Let's see, anyone else that's on here? Nope, nope, you're harmonic, you're harmonic. Everyone around here is harmonic. Nope, we've uh, we've completely fixed the world. <laughs> all in the name of harmony, am I right? I love how, again, this was literally a harmonic, like, peaceful Federation run, and then it always just devolves into mass murder. But hey, we kept to our values, I think. Anyway, this has been Sakui with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough with the My Little Pony equipment war mod this is again an extremely fun mod to play i encourage all of you to play it if you could as i said in the beginning of this video please check out discord in my links below if you want to play games with me make sure to check out my patreon make sure to get my coffee make sure to do pretty much anything you can to help support this video in the algorithm like comment subscribe let me know what it is that you would like to see next and again if this video can get 7,000 likes within the first three days i will do another my little pony game you all really seem to like it and i want to give you what it is that you want thank you everyone for watching i hope you have a good rest of your day and goodbye